I have three babies, like the biggest, the age of two. <laughs> yeah, thank you. I need some applause for that. Yeah. <laughs> And I became a lawyer while I was pregnant and with the two babies, so a plus for that also. <laughs> and a plus to my mom that kept the babies safe when I was studying. <laughs> Thank you. So really, for me, all this journey is my life story. And I believe it's the life story of so many women around the world. But I chose to take the horrible things that I've been through and help other women and men around the world Came speak out. The competition of Miss World. When you want Miss Israel, you have to go to Miss World. I didn't want to go. But then, I guess, because I wasn't in therapy, yes, and the fact that I wanted to stay away from all the pain that was surrounding me, my mother, my father, my sister, my friends, everybody was like a wreck. I wanted to get away, to get away, and I decided to go. I don't know, in a very weird way. Maybe just, I mean, I believe he just put the thing, like the thought in my head to go because he knew that I'm gonna win. But I don't know why. Hey, what's and gonna happen to if go. you win second, third, or first? I was like, what? I don't know. I'm gonna be, I think, happy. I called my mom. I told her, you don't understand. He told me. What's gonna be if you went second, third, or first? She was like, what? So probably I should call Dana from Laisha that sent me there. That Laisha is the paper that represented uh, Miss Israel, the newspaper. And she called her and she said, Dana, maybe you should send somebody. Like I told you, I came by myself, you know? <laughs> I almost paid for my ticket. So, and they didn't even show it on TV. They didn't want to waste money just to show it for nothing. So the, since then, <laughs> they show it every year on TV, <laughs> but no one wins. <laughs> and then we did rehearsals, and it went like this. You go right. You wave. You smile. You go left till the end. You wave. You smile. You go to the middle. You wave. <laughs> you smile. You didn't get it? Again, like because this for a month. without this crown, ah. you wouldn't be here today to listen to what I have to say. You and all these women and men around the world that watch the film. So thank you, crown. <laughs> I always say that, I, that all this Miss World, they say I want to save the world. I took it seriously. <laughs> I all really want to save I the world. See I see the really women that I make them open up, even if it's one person that tells his story, take it out. For me, I mean, this is my biggest thing. I mean, if I will do that for the rest of my life, I will be happy. Even if you walk naked on the street, no one can touch you, okay? Let's make it clear. If you don't want to do something, if you don't want to do something, no one can do anything that you don't want to do. One time a girl told me, you know what, I was raped. I was like, yeah, what happened to you? And she told me she was in an elevator with a guy that she didn't know and she said, I just stood there, and while we were going up, he came to me, and he fixed my coat. I was like, what do you mean? He said, he just came and fixed, like, he arranged my coat. Like, she said, I was raped. Okay? No one can do anything you don't want to do. And, of course, if you stand in the middle of the road, a car would come. I'm not saying go naked on the street, of course. But you know how many cases today happens inside the family? Most of them. With the grandfather, with the father, with the cousin, with the friend, with the mom. Most of them goes inside the family. I ha my case was in, it's like in the films, you know? The stranger, like, 
It doesn't go this way in real life. In real life, it's somebody you know. When you're three-year-old, four, five, six, know because you wear a miniskirt. And like this, happen to the people you love. You have to know. Not even one question. Why? Why did you go there? But I told you so. If you ask that, that's it. Your child, your daughter, your grandchild will never speak to you ever again. They will continue living with the, the, the guilt that it all happened because of them. Because if you don't believe them, if the mother and father doesn't believe you, who would? So it wasn't for my parents. I wouldn't be here. They are the real heroes of my story. I have so much more to tell you, but I, I'm waiting for your questions. So thank you so much for having the privilege to talk to all of you. You're amazing people. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.